Number 30. The spectra of hydrogen and of calcium are shown here. What causes the lines in the spectra? Why are the colors of the lines different? And suggest a reason for the observation that the spectrum of calcium is more complicated than the spectrum of hydrogen. All right, so this looks like it's a basically a three-part question, right? So if I could just say that this one, this is A, this is B, and this is C. Let's answer the first question first. So for A, it says, what causes the lines on the spectrum? And what they're talking about are these lines right here, right? Now, um, they're talking about specifically hydrogen and calcium. So I'm going to be looking at hydrogen. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at hydrogen and calcium. So they're talking about what these lines are. So this line, this line, and all of these lines, right? So what do those lines represent? Well, every single line represents a specific wavelength. All right, so those, those lines can be traced back to, uh, actually it's GTH. So those lines can be brought back to the specific wavelengths, right? If I looked at this one, I can go all the way up and get a specific wavelength because this is in units of angstrom. So more specifically, however, where does a wavelength come from? Oh, we've been learning that wavelengths comes from specific and discrete energy values, right? And why do these energy values come about? Oh, because electrons will jump, right? Electrons jump from shell to shell, right? From an N equals something to an N equals something else. But that's the whole idea here. So these lines represent wavelengths, but they come from those energy values because electrons are jumping from, you know, n equals one to n equals two or two to one and vice versa. So that's the answer to A. Why are the colors different? So why if actually I'll do this in red. So why is this like a blue color and this one is a red color for hydrogen? So why are these colors different? Well, we know that different wavelengths, so I'll just put lambda because lambda is wavelength, different wavelengths equate to different energies. So I'm just going to put capital E. Different wavelengths equate to different energies, which means different colors. So because there's a different energy value that is represented in these jumpings of the shells, these transitions, that's why you get the beautiful colors and the different colors. Look at all these colors for calcium. This one's blue, this one's red. You got some yellow in here. You even got some like lime green, green, you got purple. So with all of those, there's always a different amount of energy that is produced which will give off the different colors. So that's the answer for B. And now for C, it says, suggest a reason for the observation that the spectrum of calcium is much more complicated than the spectrum of hydrogen. So if we just look at this for calcium, look at all these lines, right? From here to here. But for hydrogen, there's only four lines. Why is that? Well, it comes from where hydrogen and where calcium is on the periodic table. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one versus calcium has an atomic number of 20. So hydrogen basically has one proton, and in its ground state, it has one, uh, one electron, right? So this one roughly has one electron. But calcium has 20 protons and also 20 electrons. So why is calcium more complicated? Because it has more electrons. And with more electrons, that just means more jumping possibilities, right? From shell to shell. So more jumping possibilities, which means more energy differences, more possibilities, different wavelengths, all because it's just stemming from more electrons that can possibly jump from shell to shell. And that's why it's more complicated, just because it has more electrons. So just more possibilities. All right. So this one was pretty straightforward. This is how you read the line spectrum of visible light. And yeah, I mean, that's all that it is. So guys, 
How was this? Did it help you? Did it not help you? Let me know in the comments. If it did, click the like button. And if you want, you can subscribe. That will help this channel a lot. It will get the word out to so many other people all over the world who are using this textbook. And it will also help you study for your test quizzes, do your homeworks, whatever. You name it, we got it for you guys. See you guys in the next question.